uh, uh, first here, I would like to clarify a couple of things. And I surely, honestly hope that whoever is watching this debate, you will clear all prejudice that you have. And you would just open your heart and open your mind and weigh what you hear and use your own judgment. Do not use the judgment from things that you've heard through the media or through Islamophobic people or through any type of other sources. Uh, so the debate today, I assume, was is the Quran scientific? And scientific means does it make novel testable predictions of a methodology in order to demonstrate some kind of way to show it's not just a figment of our imagination? This is not going to be and, a productive, but all right. Yes, there are, the Quran is definitely not scientific. There are hundreds of scientific errors in the Quran. He mentioned one, um, the, the moon being cut in half. NASA has literally said it has not happened. Uh, the setting and rising place of the sun are false in the Quran. The earth and the heavens created in six days, so false. Uh, earth created before the stars, obviously false. Uh, earth and the heavens torn apart, false. Heaven made from smoke, false. Smoke didn't exist um, in the plasma. There are seven earths. No, they're not. Uh, seven heavens. I don't see any evidence of that. It's definitely not scientific. Some magic land, false. Uh, similar size and distance of the moon and sun, false. Moon split in two, false. Nature of the moon's light, the moon does not emit light, false. Uh, meteors are stars, fire the devil. Like, no, they're not. Meteors are not stars. It's literally false. The fire the devil's part, who knows? No science there. It's on scientific claim. But you know what? We definitely know that meteors are not stars. Uh, the sky in heaven is a ceiling, false. Sky is a garden ceiling, false. The sky is something that can fall, false. Heaven can be rolled up. False stars are something that can fall. False. Uh, the cause of shadows and changing of length claimed in the Quran. False. Um, the disregard of the North and South Poles. They got that one wrong. One hour later. And then that's just the astronomy section. We also got a biology section, embryology section, uh, geology section. Flat Earth is also in, implicated in many of the different things. A zoology section, history section. Ooh, the massive walls of iron. Those don't exist. The fact that Caesar built those attack those big towers and don't doesn't exist lots of sociology errors myth myths and miracles errors there are miracles in the quran and those didn't happen there's no evidence of any of those so yeah we got tons of errors in the quran and i'll just but i don't i don't know if, i think we should address the basic fallacies of what science is first so, so I'll, I'll leave it there number one here i would like before i uh before i enter the topic of uh, the the islam and the science and let me tell you that your sciences, which has my sciences as well, and the Muslim sciences, they're not the atheist sciences. This is another fallacy that keeps that that, that is always told to people. The atheists didn't didn't do anything. The atheists are just growing up. Most atheists are are, are, are 15 to 29 years old. So you would know. The United States is not an atheist country. Europe is not an atheist continent. Atheists are the minority in the United States. That they have the minority everywhere in the world. Most people are. Uh, I have the proof to show that. I have the proof to show that, and show me the numbers. Uh, so, so going from these bases, the atheists claiming the the ownership of science is another fallacy. Okay, so when we're talking about uh, uh, when we're talking about science, like when the moon splits, you're comparing it with your current science. And I believe that I love astronomy and I follow astronomy a lot. Okay. I'm not an astronomist. I'm not uh, a cosmologist. I'm not, but I follow science a lot. And I am a lot smarter than to be making that laugh. You probably never met somebody as smart as I am. You are a learner. You are a repeater. You are a regurgitator. And I, and I hear you talking 17,000 words a second. That's fine. You can do that all you want. But that, that's not the science. That's not the thinking. The whole, I'll, I'll give you a few fallacies with your system because I, I need to dig into your system. I'm sorry. I don't know how much time I've used already. Uh, you have two minutes and 46 seconds left. Okay. So I'm telling you, there is, there is, a, there is a whole a lot of fallacies with what's going on with your system. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you if you guys want to calculate it. You can grab your calculator and let, let's figure out these united hypotheses of science. Okay these united hypotheses of astronomy, okay? And I want you to think about them. 
let's pretend that each hypothesis or each theory had a 90% chance of being true. And we're building up all these theories one on top of another with a 90% chance. By the time we build the 50th theory on top of this pile of nothing, the chance of the final result being true is 0.05%. You guys can do that in your calculator. Just just do, do 0.95 times 0.95 and then hit equal 49 more times. And you would see what I'm talking about. So uh, the, the final thing I would like to ask, uh, when, when, when are we following these, these stupidities? You have 30 seconds. Oh, I have 30 seconds. Okay. So I don't even believe in this whole system because it, the, the whole thing is a joke. We don't even understand. I just want you to know that they've been teaching us at school three states uh, of matter for, 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 for water, for H2O. They're up to 19 now. And, 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 and the 18 to 1, which is 4,700 degrees Celsius, and black was predicted in the Quran. If you read that before, you'd be laughing at it.